King's College inaugurated a new president on Friday, October 7th. Although Father John Ryan had been serving as president for almost three months, the inauguration was a ceremony that Father Ryan really couldn't wrap his head around. Early after being selected as ninth president of King's College, my predecessor, Father O'Hara, suggested that I begin preparing for the presidential inauguration. This caught me off guard in a number of ways. First, I was clueless as to what a presidential inauguration involved. And second, and I'm somewhat embarrassed to say this, I was even more clueless as to the purpose of a presidential inauguration. <laughs> Regarding the first point, I am greatly indebted to the inauguration planning committee who so generously and creatively made this event not only possible, but such a wonderful celebration for King's College, academic, and local communities. These preparations took equal parts of competency and charity. Regarding the second point, it took me a while to begin to appreciate why so many people would travel from near and far, disrupt their lives, and at no small cost of time and resources, gather in this space for a presidential inauguration. One key to my evolving appreciation for a presidential inauguration came as I was reading about a college president who misspoke by calling the faculty his faculty. The faculty were quick to free him of any delusion. <laughs> we are not your faculty, but you are our president. In similar fashion, this is not my inauguration, so much as the inauguration of your president. Many people from different communities spoke, including Mayor Thomas M. Leighton of the city of Wilkesbury. I recently lived through an earthquake and a flood, and only now can I truly say I'm here to see everything. A Wilkes graduate has been named president. <laughs> The keynote speaker was Brother John Page, the president of Holy Cross College. Let us repeat again those words of your first president. Kings teaches students not only how to make a living, but how to live. However, your way of education does not produce people who are solely thinkers or solely doers. It produces graduates who are both deeply thoughtful and ready to accomplish things. Your students equip themselves with the ability to adapt to different situations, change careers when necessary, and work in fields that today do not even yet exist. We have asked a man from among our ranks to take leadership responsibility for this ministry. He commits himself to serve on behalf of the church, the Holy Cross congregation, this institution, the faculty and staff, the students, the alumni, the friends and benefactors of the college, and the local civic community. He is a man of obedience and service, and we all know he will do his best with the help of God and with our Father Ryan was the former dean of the William G. McGowan School of Business at King's College, and he took office as president on July 1st. Reverend Father John Ryan, CFC, it's an honor and privilege for me on behalf of the Board of Directors and before this company of distinguished elements and friends to formally install you as the ninth president of King's College. You will have and hold all the power, authority, and privileges of that office. The Board of Directors further charges you to carry out all the duties obligations and responsibilities of that office, knowing that you will give courageous and wise leadership to King's College as it fulfills its involving mission. I hereby present to you the King's College Presidential Medal. 
May God grant you wisdom as you leave the college. 